Would you be able to answer this question on one of my tests for social psychology? Simple essay question, after going through privilege, what privilege is, giving examples of privilege, explaining how there are different types of privilege, like white privilege, male privilege, Christian privilege, able-bodied privilege, thin privilege, cisgender privilege, straight privilege, uh, and others. Why don't you just fucking die already? (sighs) Just give up and die. All right, so simple question I ask my students, essay question. Tell me one way that you have privilege. Tell me one type of privilege you have. Well, my makeup is all over the place today. All right, it still is. Anyway, I always am a mess. No, a thousand times, no. Tell me what kind of privilege you have. Explain how it's an example of privilege and say how your life would be different if you didn't have that particular type of privilege. Right, uh, here goes. Um, forgive me, father. Forgive me, mother. Forgive me, non-birthing parent. Forgive me, birthing parent. Forgive me. Would you be able to answer that question? Can you come up with a type of privilege you have? Are you able to say out loud and admit to yourself and to the world that you have that privilege? Forgive me, university professor. For I have privilege. It has been several years since I last recognized my privilege. Because one thing I find is my students don't. (laughs) Even when I have clearly explained what privilege is and how it doesn't mean your life has been easy, it doesn't mean you're a bad person if you have privilege, still they just go, oh no, I don't know. No, I don't have any privilege. (laughs) Idiots. Wrong answer, obviously. Uh, the, the test question, a lot of students will leave it blank. It could be for a variety of reasons, not necessarily because they, you know, don't, don't understand or don't take the class seriously or anything. No, a thousand times, no. But I get, you know, I just get, I get weak ass answers, you know, like, oh, well, I've got strong privilege. I've got smart privilege. And the strengths, you've just put accounts. Yeah. That's your job, though. That's just, that's just. Mm. You know, I'm like, you, you could have said you had white privilege. You could, you know, you could have said you had male privilege. Uh, at the very least, you know, because I'll have some students they are like, look, uh, I am a black transgender individual. I don't have a whole lot of privilege. I'm like, OK, now here's the think about your life. Think about certain advantages that you have that you probably didn't notice that you have. And an example I often go with, I say, you know, even if you've got disabilities, you don't have all the disabilities. There's some disability that you would be lacking, that you'd have privilege from not having that disability. And if you have lost both legs and both arms, just go, at least I'm not dead. I'd rather be dead in that situation. You know, like, so, like, for example, if you are sighted, you can see, you don't need accommodations for that. You've never had to think about, oh, is the textbook going to be available in Braille? Am I going to get it on time for the semester? You know, that's just one one of many examples I'll try to throw out. I'm like, just think, what sorts of privileges do you have? And they just don't want to do it. Maybe your students just don't want to do it because it's the most exhausting way of looking at the world that I have ever heard. This intersectional intersectional worldview where you have to sort of look at the cross sections of every aspect of a person's life to work out what what are you trying to work out exactly i don't even know i seriously doubt that the vast majority of the people who subscribe to this intersectional worldview like the university professors and do-gooders in general uh, i doubt they actually really have thought it through what is the end game i think i know what it is i think the machiavellian designers of uh, this sort of way of thinking know exactly what they're doing it's social engineering it's an attempt to uh, impose a sort of uh, article 58 like what we saw in the soviet union you know um, in, to, in some ways, essentially uh, legitimately confiscate property and, and uh, destroy people's lives um, on the basis of what they would have called counter-revolutionary activities, what you would call today, I, I don't know, um, social injustice. You know, I was parodying it a little bit before. I was comparing it to 
confession, but having thought about it a little bit more, uh, getting your students to write about how their immutable characteristics uh, make them unfairly advantaged um, compared with other sections of society is actually completely evil and nothing like confession. Because uh, confession was getting people to look inwards, uh, getting, to, getting them to uh, reflect on their actions, uh, seeing how they can better themselves as an individual, not saying, no, you belong to this category of society, you should behave this way, and uh, you should be forever genuflecting to the people that you have um, displaced. There's so much resistance. So I'm asking you, what sorts of privileges do you have? Can you own up to it? I'll start. I have white privilege for sure. I have cisgender, straight privilege. I have able-bodied privilege. Don't have thin privilege, but as someone who's just a mid-fat... <laughs> a mid-fat? Is that a thing now? She's a mid-fat. Not a larger... I know the, I know their official terms, and I'm probably going to use the, the different terms, but the larger fat, and I think... Th the, the, the larger categories. Hang on. <laughs> there are politically correct terms for types of fatness. This I have got to see. I'm not, I'm not there, you know. So I have privilege from being on the smaller end of fatness. I've got privilege. What are yours? I went down a bit of a rabbit hole there searching for the uh, terms that the National Association for Fat Acceptance use for different sizes of people, but I couldn't find anything. So if anyone's got any suggestions, you know, for categories, you know, leave that in the comment section. Uh, or if anyone's got a link to anything that is being used, but I couldn't find anything. I don't know what she's talking about. She's just probably worried about coming across as bigoted or something. Uh, anyway, we're uh, I, I'm, I'm just a white, privileged uh, man here trying to learn you know i want to be educated so um uh, yeah i don't know if you want to learn with me like subscribe share the video watch my next video and uh just uh i'll see you in the next one